are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? What was that? Gotta move. Now. Check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Eh, imagining things. Need to draw him away from the stairs. What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. Distract him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word, we'll get Michael's move to the new safe house. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will... Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries Devil's Breath around with him. 
Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. <laughs> Again? What's up with these lights? Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. Almost there. Status. Nothing to report. Control. I heard something. Running a sweep. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles. Where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Get the over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol.
us out. Spider-Man, we just caught a sniper stalking Mayor Osborne's chief of staff. I'm pretty sure there are other targets. Our perp had a map of the city with the courthouse circled. I'm on it. See if you can get more info out of our friend here and contact me at this number. I need to hurry. The attack on the courthouse could come any second. If the sniper sees me near the target, he'll take the shot. Only chance is to take out the gunman before he can fire. Nobody likes a camper. Spider-Man! We accessed the perp's phone. Found more names and locations. Looks like it's all going down within a matter of minutes. No pressure. Send me what you got. Multiple snipers, one Spider-Man. I need to move fast. Anyone who's ever worked on Norman's campaign is a potential target. That's one way to destroy Osborne, I guess. Make it so nobody wants to be around him. the place. Now where's the assassin? Can't go near the target. The gunman would shoot him before I get there. Sleep it off. One down, two to go. Gotta check out all possible vantage points for snipers. You literally didn't see that coming. Target safe. Only one to go. If I'm too slow, people die. Why can't assassins ever try and work around my schedule? Snipers gotta be around here somewhere. Just in time. Officer, all three snipers are down. Are we in the clear? Not quite. Our perp says his boys are holding a bunch of tourists hostage. He says they'll execute them all if we don't let them go. We have a probable location based on cell phone towers. But if they see cops, they'll start shooting. Act like you're negotiating. Stall them. I'll take away their bargaining chips. They won't leave witnesses. Either I save the hostages, or they're dead. Kill all the hostages before I get close. Our demands are simple. Release our comrades, or the hostages die. If I'm spotted, those hostages are dead. Gotta take out these guys quietly.
their blood. I should have gone to Hawaii. Shut up or we shoot. Snoring now. Fang song ba. Go! 
要支援，快来我的位置。喂，我需要帮忙。那是谁？有少一个自己的人。I wouldn't have known about it if not for you. You make a good team, officer. Hey, see if you can convince more of your buddies to work with me instead of shooting at me, okay? Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Miles' is mom. Hello? Mr. Parker, it's Dreo Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Ed May know, and I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay.
Nice. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? 
Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross contamination between the neural interface and arms. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then, it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside, then offered to show me. Super fun guy. device will need two parts to function. The first will be an entirely original prosthesis, a modular system of micro cables able to take on any number of forms, whatever the user can imagine. The second part, and this, Peter, is the true genius, is a direct neural interface, a direct tap straight into the basal ganglia. Unleash the brain from your mind to reality. This goes beyond limb replacement, Peter. This will free all of us from the shackles of our bodies. Like your web friend. Soon, we'll all be capable of living our most amazing fantasies. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. If we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Hmm. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch, noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. I only wish you'd told me sooner, Doc. I didn't want to burden you. And if I'm honest, telling you made my condition that much more real. I was afraid. My condition is worsening, but I choose to view it as a challenge. Extra incentive to push forward.
true. You have no idea. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. problem I saw coming a mile away. Go ahead, ma'am. Well, I was coming out of the bathtub last night when I glanced out my window and, and what do I see? Spider-Man swinging by like he owns the place. I was naked. Madam, you have my sympathies. Just imagine what sort of deviant personality would dress up like that in the first place. And it's a short step from there to peeping Tom activity. What are you doing here? Whoa, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, oh like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can't. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know... Anytime. I just punched Spider Man. I just need Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would've bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Keep moving. Keep moving. Man, I hope they're okay. No, no one's coming to the room. Farm.
kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. We just need to isolate the drone signal. Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Maybe I could turn on that siren. Patrols, that'll just slow me down. the gate on the left or over the scaffolding to the right. You're lying. We have footage. Oh, man, I just gotta go home. I have the authority okay. to arrest the team. Stay calm. I gotta distract him. Maybe I should just let you be anything. Okay, my faithful listeners. I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall box. I've got Ken on line three with some thoughts. Ken, you're on with J. Jonah Jameson. First of all, I just want to say it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you, Ken. You just earned yourself a copy of my new book, J. Jonah Jameson, Always Right, Never Wrong. Uh, I already have one. Can I get a t-shirt or something instead? No, now get to So I got this buddy on the force who says that these Sable people don't report to police or nothing. He says they report directly to the mayor. Is that true? Okay, I'm in the clear. Phew, that was intense. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the feast shelter okay? Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get through this. Okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Back soon, Mr. Punch. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place? Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. Oh, 
hell? Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Got the time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. I'll grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. <laughs> 